Oh, hey Nancy. Hi Charlie Clutch. How are you? I'm awesome. How are you? I'm doing well. What are you doing here in downtown Yatkinville? Oh, just, you know, wandering around with my liar binder out of nowhere. <laughs> just a normal day. Yeah, yes. right. All right. Well, hey, since you're downtown anyway, how would you like to come into the ice cream parlor with me and make some ice cream and be featured on Ice Cream and Sing? I would love that. All Thank right. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's go. Ice Cream and Sing. Nancy Onsrud is joining us in the ice cream parlor today, and our signature recipe is the salted caramel, or caramel. We've got a costume challenge, and we're talking about the Wapa production of The Liar. But first things first, we have heavy cream, and we're going to chase that with some sweetened condensed milk. She's going to give it a little stir and add the vanilla extract and stir that again pretty fast because we want to slightly whip the heavy cream. We did four tablespoons of caramel, but that took forever, so I'd say just use a quarter cup and be done with it. But make sure you get all of that caramel mixed up from the bottom of the bowl. It'll settle, settle pretty quick. Then grab your favorite flaky sea salt and toss in a teaspoon. Now, this recipe is pretty cool because you don't actually have to mix it up in an ice cream maker. You could just pop this into the freezer and after a few owl hours, it'll firm up. But we don't have that kind of time. So, while we wait for the ice cream to freeze, we're going to play a little game called Costume Confections. <laughs> Nancy, your challenge this week is to take three of the signature flavors that we have featured on previous episodes of Ice Cream and Sing and come up with unique, one-of-a-kind costume designs that you will then put on our lovely mannequin here. And you will have five minutes to create each of these designs. So that's five minutes to go through our entire stock, put it on the mannequin, and be done. Alrighty. Yeah. The first flavor we're bringing back as a costume design idea is Mackenzie's Raspberry Cheesecake Ice Cream. Here we go, three, two, one, go! Ooh, yeah! Okay, that could be interesting. What did you find? Ooh, okay. A little lighter pink. You've only got three minutes left, Nancy, so you better hurry up. Oh, baby. Nancy, you have one minute left. You have one minute left for your first look. The raspberry cheesecake. in the heels. Whoa. Is this your finished look or are you gonna try and get an accessory? You have 30 seconds left. You have 15 seconds left to complete the raspberry cheesecake costume look. It's a ring. <laughs> 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 Hold on. <laughs> And time is uh, Yeah, so we've got a stand beside your work, be happy about it. Okay. So we've got a vintage look. We've got a cream tan camel hat, a pink, light pink, which was the actual color of the raspberry cheesecake ice cream. That's, That's a really cool. Dress. And vintage shoes as well. Loved that. Beautiful. And Nancy even found a ring. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Fantastic. Wonderful job. The second costume design we're looking at is the lemon sorbet. And that was my personal recipe that I featured last week at my brother's ice cream birthday party. So, Nancy, you have five minutes on the clock to come up with a costume that resembles or tastes like lemon sorbet. Three, two, one. That's good. Good, good, good. Let's go for it. What we got on the clock? We've got a little under three minutes. Yes. Three minutes and we're looking at accessories. We've got our base dress going on for the limoncello. We're looking for some accessories. Yeah, to the next grade. Yeah, she could have lost one at the ball. Oh, those are cute. Good, good job. Good choice. Good choice. Let's see. You've got one minute left if you want to try and add anything else. 
I think I'm good. Yeah, you think you're good? That's really nice. Awesome sauce. I think it's good too. I'm going to pause the timer. Nancy, you had 56 seconds left over, and this is your costume inspiration for the lemon sorbet ice cream. Love it. Looks great. Live it, love it. Super cute. I'd wear that. But Nancy, you have one more ice cream inspired costume creation to come up with. The third and final ice cream flavor that you will be challenged with is today's recipe, the salted caramel. So whenever I press go, you have five minutes to come up with your best salted caramel costume creation. Right. Are you ready? I am. Here we go. Last but not least, salted caramel. Go for it. Delicious, creamy, wonderful. Ooh, what is that? Did you wear that? I did wear that. <gasps> Nancy did wear that. That's beautiful. If you want to use that, you can. I think I'm going to. Nice. I think that's perfect. So we found the base. Like any good ice cream base, we started with our base. <laughs> <laughs> I'm funny. You are so... I'm hilarious. Okay. We're getting a little hunty lodgy dress. You have a minute and 23 seconds left, Nancy, to finish your woodland critter golden dashing ball gown glam look. So, Nancy has chosen these earrings, these shoes, this beautiful gown, and woodland critters. <laughs> I love it. I think it's a mixed match, wonderful thing. <laughs> Five seconds on the clock, and you completed your challenge. Yay! Congratulations, Nancy. Your third and final look is done. Salted caramel. Nancy, you are currently the assistant director for the production of The Liar that Wapa is producing? Yes, I am. And have you ever assistant directed before? I have directed specific scenes um, in past shows, such as Annie and Mamma Mia, but I've never been given the actual title of assistant director, so um, this is a very new experience for me, but it's been one that I have been very, very fortunate to have had. Um, the entire crew of people is very collaborative, and that is something that um, is always a running theme with shows here at the Arts Council. And, and you're great at collaborating. What is the one thing or one of the many things that you think you bring to the table when you collaborate with others? I think that everyone comes from so many different backgrounds and walks of life and all that I can do is give my experience and walk of life and um, just try to give my side and situations that happen in the liar are still very true to real life and I think that's why it's so awesome that this play is being produced right now. Um, yeah. So. Can I pop in really fast? Sure. Yes. She also has a beautiful technique of having character driven dialogue, oh, character driven dialogue <laughs> and character centered objective and it's just beautiful to see an actor take that perspective and use it in the voice of a director. I'm really proud of that. And I didn't mean to get that close to you. I'll spray you. <laughs> again. I'll spray myself. What would, what would your newspaper headline be for The Liar? Um, immigrant man comes to France, tries to convince everyone that he is something that he's not, and the end product is something that you wouldn't necessarily expect. Okay, so the there's a twist and turn at the end? There's yes, a big surprise? definitely. Ooh, how exciting. I would say so. Awesome. Yes. When is The Liar happening? July 10th. Where is it? At the Yadkin Arts Council in the theater, hopefully. Yes. Oh my God. Look at how silky the film yours has the demo. Wonderful. So Nancy and I have the official finished product, the salted caramel and it's time to taste nancy are you ready to taste this delicious ice cream yes let's go for it social distance cheers <laughs> yay yay nancy you can either sing or scream your reaction to the salted caramel okay um
Okay. Yes, okay, nice. Cool. A little hybrid of the two. <laughs> Nancy, thank you for helping me out in the ice cream kitchen today. Thank you for watching Ice Cream and Sing. I'm Charlie Klutz. And I'm Nancy Ansruth. And we want your recipes. Email them to me. Also, email me if you want to be featured on the show as a guest. And of course, a big special thanks to these folks. Ice cream and sing. So Belle got tired of putting up with the beast's crap. <laughs> and she killed his little cousins. <laughs>